going to talk about the fact that there has been a ban of TikTok in India. TikTok obviously was huge uh, across the country and has left us with a with a void to fill. And today we have on the panel Aditya, who is the uh, co-founder of Chingari, and Abhilash, who uh, was the CEO of a app called Samosa. But I would leave it to Aditya first, and then Abhilash to introduce what they do. Well, uh, hey guys, thanks, thanks, uh, <clears throat> Malvin. So yeah, I'm one of the co-founders of Chingari. Uh, I handle pretty much uh, the business side of things for Chingari. Uh, not a techie. Uh, just a simple introduction. Uh, that's that's about it from my side. Okay, Abhilash, over to you. Guys, uh, my name is Abhilash. I've been writing software for the last 10-15 years. I wrote software at multiple companies. I I founded a short video company in 2015 called Samosa. Ran it till uh, end of 2019. Yeah, that that's good me for this session. Yeah, and if you could like quickly uh, walk us through uh, Aditya again, you first. What is Chingari? So Chingari is uh, the short form. It's it's a short form video app. It's one of the leading leading short form video apps in India. We have the highest mind share in India. Uh, our target audience is uh, right from tier two, three, four. But of course, we've seen a lot of tier one audience as well on the app. As of today, we we've been growing organic. We are the fastest organically growing uh, short form video app in India at around we have forty million users. Uh, close to 100 million videos that are being watched every day, uh, and and yeah, of course, uh, I, I think uh, as of today, have, apart from TikTok, we have been trending in the market right now. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely, you are definitely the name to watch out for here. Uh, I will ask quickly for some more context. What was Samosa? What was Samosa? Uh, Samosa was a short video app. Uh, uh, so the way I look at short video apps is there is content that is created on the apps that is one one side of the story that is like TikTok and so on, and then there are another set of apps which uh, actually pay creators to put up content. So uh, the likes of uh, TikTok has done it. It's called professionally generated content, and then there is a third class of short video apps called uh, mover generated content. So there is organically created content, there is professionally generated content, and then there is mover generated. So what these movers do is essentially is they just take content from all other places and upload onto this app. So they take content from Instagram and upload on someone. They take content from YouTube and upload onto someone. They take content from TikTok and upload onto someone. So, so we amassed a very large section of movers. And, but at the end of the day, we were also competing with the likes of TikTok and so on. Yeah, so essentially that was uh, Samosa. Awesome, awesome. Thanks. And uh, Samosa recently got acquired, so congrats on that as well. So Abhilash, I would like to start off the question with you. And this is a very basic question here. And that is, why did short form content in India really pick up the way it did? What, what are your thoughts? There's nothing special about India, right? Like it's been uh, like the mobile phone. Everybody has mobile phones now. And these phones have very powerful cameras. And when all of these people have these powerful cameras and think of it like a giant graph of uh, mobile phones spread all across the world. Now all these people have interesting things happening around them. And now these people started recording things and putting up things. And now what specifically short form video has done is it reduces the barrier to create content using these tools that are already in their pocket so if you have to make a 10 minute youtube kind of video it takes a lot of effort script uh, choosing a location uh, getting the actors together a whole bunch of things but short form video you don't have to worry about any of that it even beautifies your face so there's no need for makeup and then there's no need for audio like in phones getting the audio right is really hard so one of the things one of the major innovations all these short form video apps have done is you don't have to worry about audio we'll give you the audio we'll give you amazing music content so that the, the phones come with the audio recording equipment or like even right now there's some noise in the background as we speak 
so all of that is non existent in short form audio because audio is already recorded at studio quality and given to people so that essentially has proliferated a whole bunch of new kinds of creators right so these are people whom you think um, would have still flourished on other platforms had the short form video not come about or do you think like short form video was just a support right like take the example of a new studio let's say somebody is a new reporter who is talking there there is need for a touch up artist and then there is need for somebody who has to write script for them and then there is need for a cameraman so there are a whole bunch of three four pieces that have to come together for a news uh, anchor to actually produce content but you take the short form audio content now none of that has to exist there is no need for a touch up artist the touch up is done by the camera there is no need for script because the script and the audio is given by yeah the uh, app itself there is no need for edit- editing because the editing tools are like simplified to that extent and normal person can also edit it so all of that is gone like compared to what a news anchor has to do what like the support system is the app itself so that has true, true. like a massive content generation true so that is probably a great prime for aditya as in so what abhila just mentioned is that the tooling is so amazing the tooling uh, has made content creation so much easier and that is also chingari's forte right so chingari is one of the i, I think the only indian app to have the camera built completely in house which is which is phenomenal yeah uh, yeah so do, do you want to talk about like how do you think about the tooling that uh, abhilash was just talking about and you know how how it is really helping creators uh, figure out their niche yeah so i, I think uh, i mean uh, beat bollywood beat hollywood uh, i mean there we have content creators everywhere right beat an actor or in short form video space uh, let's say you have an amazing talent but if you don't have really good tools uh, let's say you have a ranveer singh or deepika padukone they are great at acting uh and they have, they're looking forward to produce a great movie they have a great director but they don't have really good tools for example let's say an amra a, a camera an editing tool you wouldn't really see a great movie right uh so you need great okay. tools to sort of make sure that the movie is great it's the same for a short form video space uh, of course uh, our our camera is pretty straight forward and simple our filters are pretty straight forward and simple but we have we've taken a lot of time and built the entire tech in house right uh so that you know if let's say i mean it, it takes a little time for content creators to sort of uh build content on the platform uh and that's one of the reason why we took we took like a, a couple of months to build the entire tech in house and get give the the best uh, camera and filters uh, to our content creators so that they can make great content and i think we lost madhavan have we oh he's is not here yet yeah. i think he dropped off Uh, sorry I, i think i just got uh this connected yeah. for a bit but I, yeah no, no that's okay yeah you you got kicked out <laughs> so i was just saying that uh, it's equally important that we have a, a really good editing tools as well as camera for our normal content creators uh, and that's what we have been doing and that's what we have done we made the entire uh, camera app as well as the ar filters in fact we are one of the only platforms that has Uh, a layer on video ar filters uh, in this industry as of today so and again we lost him and again i'm not going to repeat this <laughs> no i think i think we should move yeah. to the next so hey devanshu are you here Let's check he will be live again i'm so sorry that that's okay that's okay. such things that have ought to happen uh, till now yeah, my yeah. internet was just See, that's that's the reason uh, why so i think that's I, that's uh, the reason why we, uh, i yeah, i was just saying that's the reason why we need really good tools you know so that you don't get drop off as well <laughs> yeah yeah and somebody needs to that's solve right. internet yeah <laughs> cool <laughs> Yeah so uh I'll just, I would start this one with you here now so now that tiktok mm-hmm. is like kind of uh not in india anymore and this has of course left a huge void over here and an opportunity uh for the indian ecosystem to build a product ground up which is indian in nature uh what do you think is going to be an interesting outcome of this dynamic 
I think the most interesting outcome of this is that um, we would now see Indian products going global, like we've had a Facebook and Instagram, right? And, and I think the best part that's going to happen over here is now the content creators can uh, build content and put up content without any hesitation because they are, they are I mean, of course, we, we respect the privacy and that's one of the reasons why a lot of apps from China got banned in India, right? Uh, so yeah, I think uh, there, there isn't going to be any hesitation about their privacy data, and other stuff and i think we would see a lot of uh, indian apps now going uh, global from india so i think this has been one of the biggest advantage and boon for us so what what about the indian uh, indianness of the product be different from you know let's say the tiktoks of the world the instagrams of the world be different sure so uh, i think uh, i think first thing is uh, majority of india does not speak english it speaks different languages every 100 kilometers you travel in india the language changes the food changes the culture changes the mindset changes uh, and that's the kind of product you need to build for the larger bharat and that's what we are actually doing we, uh, chingari right now is in 10 plus languages uh, uh, we have different so genres of content right from comedy uh, dancing singing you name it and we have we have a lot of home chef uh, in, in the in, in the rural towns who are putting up videos for example how to make how to make litti chokha within a minute things like that right so uh, i mean it's it's a diverse if it's a diverse country and there's a lot of content and talent right but uh, uh, and that cannot be captured only by one language which is english right uh, and the needs are different the demands of the the, the public is the audience is completely different uh, right. and i think we can understand that being in born and raised in india so yeah definitely definitely yeah being vernacular is definitely a large uh, part of the product uh, platform itself and that is i think something that avilash uh, did really well uh, five years running samosa and you know much more experienced on the panel so avilash according to you now that again tiktok has left the indian ecosystem what uh, and the <clears throat> Yeah, I. Madhu, are you here? He's going to join back now. <laughs> Let's. Uh, yeah, and he's back. I am so sorry. So yeah, the question was for Abhilash. Uh, next again. Uh, you no, know, just following up. TikTok has left and has given a room for a lot of short form uh, video products like watching is also building really well. Uh, what do you think uh, some of these apps are getting wrong? What, what is something that you know, Aditya should learn from you? I do not know if he has to learn from me or not, but uh, I think what everyone is doing is everyone is playing safe. I think the content is very Content is very good. I think uh, the content has to be extreme. Like TikTok has exposed all these users to extreme content. And I think uh, to again stimulate those uh, people, you need to show extreme content. And I, I think all of the apps right now are regulating themselves way too much self-regulating themselves and they, my biggest concern is that all of these apps are playing it too safe and mm. like I, I'll tell you very something very specific like uh, in TikTok there used to be crazy kind of luck. for example there used to be content that used to uh, say a lot Shiva is important and then uh, just before, like tomorrow, there is uh, CBSE board exam, or tomorrow there is AP board exam. Now, just before the day before that, uh, there will be a video on uh, TikTok Hilo, which would say, uh, "Here is the leaked exam paper of that uh, exam that is happening tomorrow." Now, whether that is the real leaked paper or not, nobody knows. But the thing is, they're playing it extreme they're not playing with safe content and then i'll give you one more example so if you go to china because of tiktok and poi show there are around 120 categories of short video content that are banned in china these are not around nationalistic stuff and stuff like that these are proper stuff these are things around 
uh, extra marital affairs things around uh, crime things around prostitution and so on and so forth and chinese government has banned these categories because it is hurting people's well being and so on but the underlying theme over there is that tiktok and poijo have leveraged these categories to attain that immense growth not just in china but also in india and they have used those categories for growth and i don't think anybody in india right now is using those categories of content yep yep cool uh, i'm going to assume uh, avilash just answered the question about yes, what uh, a lot of people are getting wrong so i'm going to move on to the next question that is that is for um, aditya uh, aditya your uh, tagline says india ka khud ka tv right india ka and uh, again the question goes back to you know what should creators be thinking differently when they come to uh, uh i got the first part of the question but the not last the part so let's wait for him to come no, back no, again i think i think we should wait for him to come back meanwhile i'll complete his question so what he was asking was uh, your uh, like regarding the india ka tv so what is about india that is different from anywhere else in the world I mean everything, man. India is a complete. India is in that not just one country. We have a lot of countries within a country, right? Okay. Uh, like I mentioned the last uh, Lavani asked in the last question as well that every hundred kilometers language changes. It's a diversified country, okay. uh, catered to different languages, different mindsets, mm-hmm. uh, different kind of content, right? Uh, I mean different age groups as well. Again, right. So that that's completely different from uh, different countries, right? And of mm-hmm. course, the second most populated country in the world. Uh, and there are different needs, so that's that's one of the things. Uh, India ka apna TV because uh, it's just not short form video app, but we also introduce something called Chingari Multiplex, uh, okay. which means that we have more than fifteen hundred movies on the platform, and it's it's wow. going to just grow. Uh, and uh, the larger age groups of let's say forty five plus or fifty mm-hmm. plus, uh, who maybe do not really scroll through the short form videos, they want to watch movies. They can definitely come on the platform and watch movies as well. We have done. We have done a bunch of things. We have. Uh, we've got Madhuri Dixit. Uh, she launched her dance classes. We've got Akshay Kumar uh, launching his movies. Uh, we have had just today. We had Hani Singh. So a couple of other things as well. So this is what 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 is India? India makes what kind of entertainment do India need? Right. You right. name. You, you talk about rap. You talk about old movies. You talk about classic movies. You talk about short form videos. Uh, everything is on Chingari. So that pretty much makes the entire ecosystem of India come up on TV. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. and abhilash what's your view on that like what do you think is you know not covered but something about india that is different from anywhere else in the world regarding this market look i think i i don't think there is anything indian about indians right okay yeah. uh, and i think i think we are way more price sensitive mm-hmm. and all those sensitivity around price dynamics don't apply in entertainment category mm-hmm. so uh, other than that i think uh, like the sheer number of people who have the largest amount of time to spend on mm-hmm. entertainment apps is mind boggling right and i think uh, people in our country spend as much time on entertainment apps per day as any of these other countries like mm-hmm. china or us or any of those mm-hmm. countries yeah. so i don't see uh, much differences in terms of uh, like the high level behavior mm-hmm. uh, but uh, in terms of but when it comes to price i see huge variations in terms of what our our guys are willing to pay yeah. and not pay and so on what the mm-hmm. like our guys value not value mm-hmm. but as far as entertainment i think over there there are different sorts of uh, things affinities cultural sensibilities over here there are different sort of cultural sensibilities yeah but more or less the amount of time people spend per day on entertainment it's almost same right great so uh, abhilash the next question is again uh, directed uh, towards you so you wrote about talent acquisition being an important part of tiktok right uh so what changes for creators now that there is no one who has much money as tiktok did 
want changes for greater like like this is one aspect where the money part is most important right like mm-hmm. especially if you're taking a professionally generated content mm-hmm. approach where mm-hmm. you're paying creators to put up content mm-hmm. so there are all these like it becomes a game of money so the guy who can raise a lot of money and who can spend it will be able to generate a lot of professionally generated content and then use it the key is actually not just generating professional generated content but mm-hmm. using it to set an example on the platform set a tone on the platform so that organic content creators start coming in organic content creation starts kicking in at a higher velocity so that is the key i think uh, to do it right uh, it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of planning and so on i think uh, professionally generated content and user generated content have to go hand in hand because with professionally generated content you won't be able to generate enough content that will engage all of the users so let's say you put up some content uh, you engage some professionals in tamil market they won't be able to engage telugu audience and if you engage some professionals in telugu market they won't be able to engage bengali audience and then these markets are like india is like 20 countries so and you it will be really hard for any one short video app to do professionally generated content in all of these 20 categories at once so all of these complex dynamics uh, which make this whole talent piece talent management piece really really hard i don't think anybody has cracked it i think even tiktok they haven't cracked it fully they have cracked it in hindi market uh, but when it comes to tamil telugu markets they haven't cracked it god so what what should uh, alte be looking for uh, when he's trying to crack these let's say south indian markets right, right now i think chingari is largely north indian if i am not so no, wrong we have, we have diversified we have south north uh, and couple of others as well a uh, very few english but more of south indian hindi language and regional language like kannada tamil bengali uh, oriya punjabi so yeah sahi sahi so uh, again back to you aditya that is how how do you uh, try to onboard people across these vernaculars you did mention that you know the product needs to be fundamentally vernacular in nature now how do you manage to get all these different kinds of um, languages onto the same platform and still provide a great experience right so that, does the culture in itself uh, change in such a way that it demands a slightly different product for each culture or is it uh, still fairly standardized across india I mean that's a million dollar question because even to our investors they are also pretty shocked that uh, the 40 million users that we have we haven't spent a single dime on any on customer acquisition uh, it's been completely word of mouth uh, and also I think uh, uh, it's 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 the product uh, that they use themselves and actually have a have a look at it right uh, largely we have we have just been going through word of mouth uh, maybe again WhatsApp forwards is again a huge uh, huge play for us because a lot of content creators. So the content they they distributed on let's say Instagram Reels, they distributed on YouTube, they distributed on WhatsApp Stories, Instagram Stories, and that's how the other people sort of get to know about it, right? Uh, that's one of uh, one one of it. I think one the other. I, I wouldn't say this would be a biggest reason, but I think even the Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi, talking about us, uh, sorts of sort of got us a, a, a pretty good leverage as well. So I mean, there's just not there's not one particular strategy, but there. a mix of a few of them that sort of gets a distribution in the regional market. Thank you very much again. I think Abhilash you talk about this a lot that is you know the best kind of problems are the ones um, that are created by new solutions. Right? So now in this current era short form video is fundamentally part of our daily lives now. Like we are all spending probably hours on short form media. What do you think is the problem that it has introduced into the society, and what is the problem that's solving right now? How? Oh, what is the problem introduced by short form content? Look, there are a lot of uh, things that have happened because of TikTok. I think uh, in a village near Tamil Nadu, uh, one of the there were two castes in the village and. uh one of the lower caste uh like in the perception of that community the lower caste people sort of put a video uh like berating the other caste 
and this uh, so what tiktok has done what like not intentionally but uh, the tiktok algorithms amplified that piece of content and distributed it in the whole location and that piece of content eventually led to the murder of that uh, person who has put up that content so there was lynching that happened so i think uh, what is happening with short video is like technology amplifies both good and bad so especially something like short video when it amplifies uh, the negative things when it amplifies uh, the already divided thing so like people already have certain tolerance for other religions certain tolerance for other castes and so on now when something bad or something derogatory starts popping up and it is amplified by a platform like tiktok that tolerance suddenly disappears and when that when that tolerance suddenly disappears there'll be lynchings there'll be violence and so on and these things have actually happened and that's the reason chinese government has banned those 120 categories and indian government has completely banned tiktok but uh, it should uh, it should also come up with some guidelines on what is allowed what is not allowed some draw, line has to be drawn somewhere because without those lines uh if the negative vectors are amplified it could lead to violence and so on yeah madhuri on mute everything that can go wrong will go wrong says murphy uh so i'll the the question back to you uh, that is you no know, of course it is early days for you to be starting to think about this but how do you by and large think about the effect of you know the viral content on your platform i mean it's not early of course we are in the in the social space so we need to take care of this and that's one of the reason why we have a moderation team in place uh, we have our ai and ml algorithm that also sort of detects so yeah i mean that's that's the first thing that we actually start working on because we know that once we scale uh this is going to be a hard problem to solve so let's solve from day one and we're going to when you go on chingari you wouldn't see any of such content that you know abhilash mentioned uh and that's probably because uh, we've been taking care of this from the moment sure and this is probably a theme that's beginning to show up on our chat as well which is also my next question that is now what what what's next on chingari right so in the sense that there are a lot of people who have been stranded because tiktok went away in a in a jiffy and you no know, what's in it for them how can they make the most out of chingari and by and large how is chingari going to address these stranded folks i mean uh, so frankly speaking we haven't really i mean we we've, we've been seeing a lot of tiktok creators who were on tiktok now hopping to chingari uh, most of them rather uh, and chingari is not just going to be like uh, i mean we never aimed to the tiktok of india that was not our mission uh, we existed even when tiktok was there in fact it was just tiktok and chingari there was no other apps uh, back then uh, our, and what they can expect is you you see a lot of content creators also being and earning money from chingari right for example let's say there are a lot of folks uh, influencers or content creators earning money from a youtube or an instagram uh, it's going to be pretty much the same we are coming with a, a, a lot of uh, we introducing a lot of features through which content creators can make content full time uh once they sort of meet up to the expectation of the earnings that they expect from a platform so that's pretty much uh, that's one of the thing for content creators but for the user side of things of course there's lots there's lots coming in right i mean we have singari multiplex we have different genres of content uh and yeah that's just just keep watching awesome uh, tell us how it's going to replace our tv how is this going to become india's yeah, uh, one of the steps that we already taken is uh, by introducing chingari multiplex now multiplex again is is a huge play that we are looking at because no one has really disrupted the movie market in india be it bollywood bollywood tollywood right uh, if i mean we have access to the latest movies on day one i mean pre covid again we used to go to theaters but what about people at year 3 4 or, or beyond that right uh, so i mean we have a huge surprise coming in where you can watch the same movies on on the same day on chingari how that will announce it very soon uh and of course uh, how do you make it uh, and we also we also start we also partner with ott platforms like old balaji shimaru so you might also see a lot of their uh, content on the platform so yes 
Sweet, sweet, sweet. So uh, I know both of you are running short on time, so we will quickly move on to a few questions that have come up in the uh, in the chat as well. So, uh, so I think this one is better suited for Avilash. That is, hey, there has been a trend uh, recently. If there is some offensive content on any app, the ban the app kind of hashtags start trending all over all over the place. Uh, how should people be reacting to that, both, both creators and the Amjanta? Um, Look, it's a double-edged sword, right? Like, uh, if you can't, um, like, if you're playing you, yourself too safe and if you are uh, regulating the content way too much, a lot of the voices won't show up on your platform. A lot of the minority voices, like uh, minority communities, minority um uh, in that bucket, a lot of uh, voices won't show up. Like, but when they show up, when they post something controversial on the app, it could lead to all sorts of things. Yeah. And if uh, the community or the app can manage the community in such a way that <clears throat> there is some sort of a civil discourse that is happening without uh, it going down uh, that negative path completely uh, that is a good place to be in because it gives a lot of growth and it also gives voice to all of these people who don't really have a voice because they're getting shut down a lot of these minorities etc etc so I think there is a place there for uh, some of these apps but it is needs to be done with exceptional care and if it is done right, uh, it will also give a lot of growth. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. So, of course, uh, everything is a double-edged sword. So, uh, we need to balance as to what is good, what is bad. You know, it's, it's a classic problem of uh, freedom of speech versus um, maintaining civil discourse. Uh, sure, I think that's a challenge for Aditya to, to uh, get his hands dirty with it. So, uh, so Aditya, there's a much more direct question at you, I think, a blunt question per se. Uh, how can people make money on Chingari? Well, uh, that's something that we're working on and you should see, you would see that uh, within a month. So we would be also doing a short PR on that and you'll have all the details pretty soon, maybe by the end of, or maybe sometime in mid-December is when we're launching that feature. Yeah. Oh, say, say. So people will be able to monetize on your platform. Is that right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, so here is probably a question not particularly pertaining to uh, the creators, but uh, from the audience. Mizba asks, what is the biggest learning from uh, building Samosa and going viral, Avilash? What you were. Biggest, biggest learning from building Samosa. Uh, look, I think uh, I recently realized while speaking to somebody, I think people who grew, who grow up in complex family structures, people who grow up in uh, uh, joint families or families with complex uh, dynamics, they tend to be really good managers. They tend to be really good at uh, seeing the emotion in a situation, empathizing with other people because in a family with a lot of complex dynamics you got to empathize with the person every uh, every instant but whereas if someone grew up in a nuclear family like me it doesn't come so naturally uh, and you you have to develop that skill uh, and especially if you are a founder and uh, and you are somebody who will all the bullshit very frequently uh, and if you're doing that without empathizing with the opposite person uh, it can lead to a lot of negative feelings i think that's the biggest personal learning for me so like to summarize like the way i grew up i haven't been as much exposed to those complex people dynamics uh, in my life as i got exposed to when i was running the startup so that was the biggest uh, learning for me and going viral i think it has to do more with geo and whatsapp than what we did so thanks to them 
<laughs> so you yeah, are talking of virality that, that, that that's pretty philosophical there but i'll have to ask altia probably the last question for today uh altia the question is what sort of content goes viral on singari again a very blunt question for you i don't know man the, the whole point of going viral is i don't know what goes viral right i mean if you knew <laughs> that what goes viral you probably would have made the same content again and again right right, uh, right. So, there different kind of content sometimes the food content goes viral sometimes there are uh, there are uh, beauty content content that go viral sometimes there are different uh, we have an interesting person who does very uh, fantastic dance moves very creative dance move that goes viral so we don't have i mean i don't think i mean if anyone has an answer to this and you know what goes viral please let us know we'll implement it on the platform as well uh let me probably take a, a different take at the same question so if there is somebody who is no considering moving on to chingari um no in what domains and what verticals is your platform look particularly more valuable like um, if i am an educator should i come on to chingari if i am a, a fashion blogger should i come on? like what kind of people should come on i mean we have different genres of content we have uh, we have uh, entertainment under entertainment we have dance singing comedy we have education we have a lot of teachers uh, who give you uh, who teach you sort of different things physics math within a minute right they have their own tricks to do we have uh, food bloggers we have uh, home chefs uh, we have uh, beauticians so it's different i um, mean as long as you're making content and uh, you you want to do that you can hop on the channel right. so there is no particular genre for you awesome awesome i think uh, last question to avilash before we sign off i wanted to ask this question to both of you but i thought Aditya is going to be biased in his opinion because he's running uh, Singari right now. Avilash, what is the future no, of uh, future of media? What's next? I couldn't hear you. Hey, sorry. Uh, the question was, what is next? Dude, sorry, I, I missed it. What is next for? Hello? what is next in the uh, in the media space what kind of content is going to pick up next what kind of content is going to pick up next like uh, we we've seen uh, instagram uh, then we saw tiktok uh, so in, in that realm what do you think is going to be the future for the next one to two years so what kind of i i think like i, I think of it like creators be focusing on yeah i think i i see it like some sort of a balancing thing uh so on one extreme like if you take safe as an axis on one extreme you have this extremely nasty content that tiktok has used to spread all across india and get to like 200 million users in record time and then on this safe axis on the other extreme you have soulful content content that feels good content that is like let's say there's a farmer who is actually farming and putting up content from there and so on so it's soulful kind or somebody uh, doing something for an animal or rescuing animals so there's there's this you know on the safe axis this soulful extreme and then there is this nasty extreme like my uh, big concern is all the short video apps right now they are neither playing extremely soulful nor playing extremely nasty and i think everything in between is a play that doesn't get you scale it will get some scale but there'll be a lot of churn or it will it won't create enough momentum like culturally it won't become an icon like if you are the iconic soulful app it, there is a space like iconic soulful content what is there right now nothing what is there for the nastiest content nothing but but these two things i think people will be spending some time every day like think of it like early in the morning i'll see soulful content like before sleeping i might see nasty content so there is that so there's space for both of them in the in a given day so that is that is a dynamic thought there of course um appealing to one of the extremes is definitely something that will attract a lot of eyeballs and uh, be very very relatable you know when you amplify a feeling 
Uh, I think that's a that's a great philosophical way to uh, bring this bring this panel to a closure. Uh, any last remarks from either of you? Aditya, if you want to go first. Yeah, I would just say download the app, have a look at it, join the app, and have some fun on the app. It's as simple as that. Or if you have feedback for us, please write in to me. I'm available on Twitter and Facebook as well. So always happy to take your feedback and work on that. And that's how we've been working. Cool. Thanks, Avlash. Yeah, I think I, I used uh, Chingari yesterday and today, and it is a fantastic app. I think everybody here, you should all definitely try it. I think the kind of work they have done on the camera is much, much ahead than everyone else. So definitely give it a try, guys. And thanks so much for organizing this, Divyan Shu. Yeah. Thanks, Divyan Shu. My pleasure. For, for whatever little time I was on stage and audible, I had a great time talking to you guys. And I hope uh, the rest of these sessions go much better. But but yeah, it was great talking to you guys. Uh, I, of course, picked your brain a lot outside of this conversation. Great to have this uh, up and live that a lot of people could hear in. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks, guys. So, cheers. Bye. Bye-bye.